So you want to be calm and confident. I know a lot of people want to be in that position because being someone that's calm and collected but at the same time has this elf confidence, portrays dominance, portrays an individual that's control over themselves and is someone that can control the situation. And thus, if you're someone that wants to be calm and confident, this is the video for you. And with that said, let's get started. Number one, manage your workload. So if you're someone that wants to be calm and confident, you need to be able to manage your time and your workload. Because those individuals that don't have control over their work are those that are stressed out. And thus, if you are someone that wants to be more calm, it's very important to have control over your workload and be able to manage it. And at the same time, if you are someone that's able to control your workload, you'll notice that you'll be a lot more confident in your own ability. Because if you have control over your own space, if you have control over what you're gonna do and your productivity levels, you'll notice that not only will you become calmer, but as time goes on, you'll also become more confident in your own ability. Number two, don't forget to eat and drink. And you might be thinking this is such a weird point to make, but it is actually very, very important. I know that a lot of times when I'm super productive and I'm really focused on a particular thing that I simply just forget to eat and drink and thus if I don't do that I realize that my productivity level isn't optimum. I feel a lot more stressed, mostly more unbalanced and you don't realize it until you start to eat and drink. At that moment of time you actually realize how much you actually needed the nutrition and thus if you are someone that wants to be more calm and confident it is very fundamental that you take care of your nutrition. Always eat on the right time and drink on the right time. Don't procrastinate it for a longer period of time than you need to. Because all of us need the nutrition as fuel to be productive and to have control over situations. And on top of that, if you're someone that's tackling a big issue with an empty stomach, you're more likely to be stressed rather than calm. And thus, it's very, very important to not forget to eat and drink. Number three, find relaxing habits. So if you're someone that wants to be more calm and collected, very important to find some sort of outlet where you can simply relax and be yourself because we live in a very productive and competitive world and thus it can really overwhelm me sometimes and thus if you want to keep your sanity want to stay calm and confident it's very important to have some downtime i know that a lot of workaholics simply forget to have some downtime but it is very fundamental in the long term if you want to keep your sanity and be calm and confident because if you're someone that's constantly working if you're someone that's too productive you'll burn yourself out and thus you won't have control over yourself in the way you want to you'll be stressed out and frustrated and all of those negative thoughts will really impact you over the long term and thus if you are someone that wants to be more calm and confident it is very important that you have some downtime and build some relaxing habits number four get enough quality sleep so sleep is super super important and never listen to those individuals that tell you that you need to be as productive as you can wake up at a certain time and not sleep at all to be successful because that's simply not true because if you want to have optimum productivity it is very important to have your sleep and on top of that if you don't have adequate amount of sleep you'll feel more rusty and more emotionally unstable you constantly feel stressed out burned out and over the long term it's very detrimental to your health because i remember when i used to work in a care company it was during the pandemic I didn't get a lot of sleep and I used to do quite a lot of hours and I definitely felt it have such a big impact on my health. I felt quite frustrated, stressed out and I didn't really enjoy life in the way I actually wanted to. And that wasn't even due to the pressure put upon me but it was simply due to the lack of sleep and thus if you are someone that wants to be calm and confident it is very important to get enough quality sleep. Number five, accept the things you can't control. So if you're someone that wants to be calm and confident it is very important to understand that there's things in life you simply can't control and thus don't look at it negatively, don't feel bad about it. Try to have a positive outlook and focus on the things you can control because if you focus too much on the things you can't control it will be very hard to be calm and confident because you're focusing on the wrong things rather than focusing on the things you can control and you're really good at controlling because if you do that you'll feel a lot more calmer, you'll feel more confident and this way it will be a lot easier to achieve the things you want to achieve because one habit that I created for myself that really helps me out in my personal life is that once I realize there's something that's out of my control or once I realize something won't go the way I want it to go instead of complaining and feeling negative about it I just try to look at the positive element to it I try to laugh at the situation I try to entertain myself in a different way and this way I feel a lot more positive and I still have a good time even though if things are not going my way and that's the best outlook to have because a lot of things will be out of your control sometimes you're not always the one that can make the decisions you want to and thus 
if you're someone that's gonna be frustrated about it, annoyed about it, it's just negative thoughts you can't change and thus it's a lot more enjoyable and useful if you look at the positive things in the particular situation and you realise that over time this will allow you to be more calm and confident even though things are against you. And that's pretty much it when it comes to this video, those were 5 ways on how you can be calm and confident and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider to hit the subscribe button and leave a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate your time and hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye.